Hi guys, it's Jill Howell here, and I um, did um, a training um, recently, um, a product training, how and why to be a product expert, um, a live training. I wanted to share this with the rest of you, so I'm going to record it. Um, of course, it's never going to be as good as when I'm um, doing it live, but um, let me go ahead and just get started. Hopefully, we don't get interrupted by children. Okay, so I'm going to talk about um, how and why to be a product expert. So first off, I asked everybody to make two lists. Um, your first list, I, um, I want you to write down all of the products that you currently know how to use. Um, they're in your makeup bag. The products that you use on your own face, that you own. Um, um, all of all of the unique products that you have okay and then the second list I want you to write down all of um, our products that you know how to use maybe you don't have them but you could explain it to somebody um, of how to use it um, the benefits of it products that you know how to sell basically and then um I want you to think about, so look at your two lists, okay? And the list of the products that you use, let's say it's this long. Most people's lists of products that they know how to sell is usually about the same, okay? But the list of products you know how to sell should be this. It should be every product we own. So that's what a product expert is. I want to talk about the difference between a product expert and an application pro, which would be like a makeup artist. You know, not everybody can be a makeup artist. Not everybody is good at doing makeup. Not everybody wear wants to wear a lot of makeup, and that's fine. But everybody can be a product expert. So what is a product expert exactly? A product expert is not a salesman. Um, there's somebody who gives advice, tips and tricks. Product expert knows how to find out the customer's needs. They know how to use each product we have, even ones that they currently don't use. They can explain the benefits of, of products that they don't even use. I think I just repeated myself. So, why should you be a product expert? Now you know what it is. Why should you be a product expert? Product experts gain lifelong customers. So when I first started with Unique, like all I could think about, I don't know why this just kept popping into my head, but all I could think about um, was Mary Kay and how they've been around for so long. And I just pictured these little old ladies who still, you know, pull out their pink tubes of lipstick from their purse. And it's like, you know that's been in their makeup bag and their purse for 40 years. You know, meaning that they've stuck with the same product and they're probably buying it from the same consultant. And I was like, that's what I want. I want customers 40 years from now who are pull pulling out purple tubes of lipstick from their purse and I'm their rep. People trust product experts. You trust your doctor doctor's advice, right? Because he's an expert. I want... People should trust your advice when it comes to unique cosmetics because you appear to be the expert. People love to refer their personal expert. Don't you know, don't you like love your hairstylist and you think, oh my gosh, like when somebody talks about hair, you're like, Oh, well, you should go to my hairstylist because she's amazing and, and she knows her stuff. Um, or you have your nail tech that you love and you're like, Oh, she's the best. You know, we love to refer people who um we think is the expert in their field that we love. Okay, so now you know why. Hopefully you all are intrigued and want to be a product expert now. Gain those lifelong customers. Gain people's trust. Let's talk about how to be a product expert. Product expert is somebody, um, they, they know how to ask the right questions. So um, if I have a customer who says, um, I'd like some foundation and you personally love the BB cream and you go, oh, I love the BB cream. You should get the BB cream. It's fabulous. 
well, you don't know anything about their skin, you don't know anything about their expectations, that might not be the right product for them. So you need to ask the right questions so you can advise them on the right product. So, like you would ask them, okay, well, do you have normal um, dry or oily skin? You know, if they, let's say they have oily skin, and then you might ask them, you know, how much coverage do you like? Do you like a lot of coverage or do you like um, minimal coverage? Well, let's say they like a lot of coverage. So they have oily skin and like a lot of coverage, and you now um, just told them to buy the BB cream. That is probably not the right product for them. BB cream is light coverage, and it's not best for oily skin. So knowing how to ask the right questions is very important on being a product expert. Listen to your customer's needs. This kind of goes hand in hand with asking the right questions. So um, let's say you have um, somebody who is is talking about, oh man, I really wish I knew how to get rid of these under eye circles um, and my skin is really dry or something. And you know, you had it in your mind that when you went to lunch with that friend that day that you were going to sell them some mascara. You bought the mascara with you and you put it in your purse and you were going to find a way to talk about it and darn it, you were going to sell them some mascara. Well, switch gears. Are you listening to your customer's needs? Like that was a total in to go ahead and start talking about our products, not the mascara. She's talking about under eyes and skin. You don't even have to be a salesman because she's practically begging you to tell her. So now you have the opportunity to talk to her about all the different types of stuff we have for her skin, what might be best to cover up her under eye circles, what would be best for her dry skin. Listen to your customer's needs or you're going to miss that window of opportunity um, to gain a new customer. And hopefully if you're advising them correctly and following up with them, they can be a lifelong customer and you only put that work in once or twice and they continue to buy from you for years and years to come. Product experts give free value. So, um, you know, when you advised that customer just a second ago, that's free value. You were giving them advice, you were talking to them, you were walking them through um, what might be best for them. You're giving them free value, tips and tricks. Um, Maybe like a video, a tutorial video, that's free value. Um, a sample. They give free value before they ask for the sale. So that's the biggest difference with product experts and salesmen. Salesmen are just asking for the sale. Whereas a product expert is going to give free value, some kind of tip or trick, sample, something, before they ask for the sale. Um, something I did, and not everybody can do this and that's fine, but something I personally did when I was brand new is I gave free makeovers. You know, you don't have to be the best at them. That's okay. Like I said, we're not all makeup artists. You don't have to be. You can learn as you go. But um, I gave free makeovers and for me it was teaching them how to use the products and how to find what was best for their skin. And I knew that if I took the time to teach them how to use everything, that they would need it and it would replace what was currently in their makeup bag and they would continue to buy it and it has paid off two and a half years later those same people are still buying from me they're my best customers and they trust me they come to me now when the new products come out and say oh what should I buy so remember to advise before asking for the sale and give free value Okay, so that is pretty much what I had for you on how to be a product expert. Hopefully you learned a few tips and tricks from that and um, can add that to your bag of tricks to help you build your business. Um, thanks again for watching. Bye.